Hello friends, I am engineer Nasir from NC Engineering and Technology. In this video we will study how to design domestic hot water recirculation system for a commercial building. This is a 4 story building where an electric water heater is supplying hot water to the building through 4 number of risers. Now we will design the hot water recirculation piping for it and we will select the capacity for hot water recirculation pump for it. In hot water supply piping network, there is one main running at the basement of diameter 4 inch and its length is 300 feet. There are four number of hot water risers connected to the main of diameter 2 inch and each riser length is 44 feet. There are four branches of diameter 1 inch connected to each riser and each branch length is 100 feet. To calculate the GPM for hot water recirculation pump, first of all we will calculate the total heat loss in hot water supply piping. From this table we will select the heat loss rate in BTU per hour per linear feet of the pipe at 140 degree Fahrenheit. So we have three pipe size 1 inch, so for 1 inch insulated pipe we have heat loss rate 19 BTU per hour per linear feet. For 2 inch pipe size we have 28 and for 4 inch pipe size we have 46. The length of 4 inch dia pipe at the basement is equal to 300 feet. And there are 4 number of risers. Each riser height is 44 feet and dia 2 inch. There are 4 number of branches connected to each riser and the number of riser are so 4 and the branch length is 100 feet and the dia for the branch is 1 inch. As we already selected from the table, heat loss in BTU per hour per linear feet of the pipe for the pipe size of 1 inch, heat loss rate is 19, for pipe size 2 inch, heat loss rate is 28 and for pipe size 4 inch, heat loss rate is 46. When we multiply heat loss value with the piping length, then we get the total heat loss in the hot water supply piping equal to 49,128 BTU. For calculation of GPM we have the formula GPM equal to total heat loss in BTU per hour divided by delta T into 500. As electric water heater is supplying hot water at 140 degree Fahrenheit and the required minimum temperature at the last fixture is 130 degree Fahrenheit. So the delta T value will be 10 degree Fahrenheit. When we will apply this value in this formula, we have total heat loss uh, equal to 49,128 BTU and the delta T is 10. Then we get the result GPM equal to 9.8256. So we need a hot water recirculation pump having GPM equal to 9.8256. For pump head calculation we use the formula total head loss equal to head loss rate into piping equivalent length. To calculate the pump head we need to calculate the pressure drop in the longest route and it will be from the farthest branch and farthest riser. So we will start it from here then we will go along the for this riser then in the main at the basement and it will go to the electric water heater. First we will calculate the piping developed length and it will be equal to the last branch plus last riser plus main in the basement. Last branch length is equal to 100 feet and the riser height is 44 feet and the main at the basement is 300 feet. Then the total develop length will be 444 feet. To calculate the piping equivalent length we add 25 to 50 percent of total piping length as compensation for fittings and walls. So after addition of 25 percent extra to the develop length we get the total equivalent length equal to 555 feet. Let us assume we will design our hot water recirculation piping at a uniform friction rate of 4 feet per 100 feet. Then the total pressure drop will be 555 
that is the equivalent length into friction loss rate that will be 4 feet per 100 feet then we will get the total pressure drop equal to 22.2 feet. By this calculation we have selected our hot water recirculation pump with 9.8256 GPM and 22.2 feet of water head. As we have calculated total GPM required for hot water recirculation pump is equal to 10 and we have 16 number of branches so when we divide it by 16 the GPM in each branch will be 0 0.625. So for pipe segment 1 and 2 we need 0 0.625 GPM, for pipe segment 3 there will be two branches connected before it so the value of GPM will be 1.25, for pipe segment 4 there will be three branches connected before it then the value of GPM will be here 1.875, for pipe segment 5 and 6 there will be four branches connected before it so there will be GPM here 2.5 for pipe segment 7 there will be two riser connected before it so 2.5 plus 2.5 equal to 5 for pipe segment 8 there are three riser connected before it so when we multiply 2.5 by 3 we get the result 7.5 GPM for pipe segment 9 we have 4 uh, riser connected before it so 2.5 into 4 equal to 10 so the GPM at the end before the pump will be 10 GPM we have calculated the GPM for each pipe segment now you can select the pipe size of hot water recirculation piping network by using international plumbing code after designing the pipe size in hot water recirculation piping network you can calculate the actual pressure drop in the piping and accordingly you can select the head for the hot water recirculation pump. For designing hot water recirculation piping you can watch our video on topic domestic cold and hot water pipe sizing. I will provide the link in the description also. Thank you very much.